friend of mine said, you know, why don't we don't get a job, why don't let's start a business together. And Toby has a, a farm and he had a barn. When he built the barn, he put a spring water um, filtration system in there as well. It didn't take long to work out what we should do with it. Um, so we started looking at brewing and that was um, back in 2013. But the other thing we wanted to do was create a business where the first thing we did was enjoy it, that you could get up every morning before you left and really look forward to going to work. But we didn't have an awful lot of money, so we decided to do it ourselves. And all the time we were doing this, we were brewing. Then we hit on one brew which we felt had a bit of a future. Um, it was a milk stout. It was great, we started phoning pubs and going around with samples. People started buying it and it was in the back of my old Peugeot 306. I remember taking our very first birth into a pub called the Griffin in Fletching. It was a very good feeling selling the first pint. The first person that came on board was our founder brewer, Pete Dakin. There are now eight of us. We're on an organic farm. A lot of our power comes from quite a big solar array that we've got here. One of the things we decided very, very early on was to make our beer vegan. Now, it was a combination of wanting to include as many people as we can in, in the experience of drinking our beers. The beer tastes exactly the same. It's not a health drink, it is still beer, but it is gluten-free and it's vegan. So you can find um, Gumbury beers all over, really. Our heartland is really here in East Sussex, but we also deliver to London. Uh, we have a distributor up in Yorkshire who has taken our beer since day one, and we export it a little bit to Italy too. But once you've started drinking great beer or eating great bread, you have no reason to go back to eating the rubbish. So I think craft beer really is here to stay. I don't think it's a fad. I think people are beginning to appreciate more good things in life than that. Brilliant beer is almost impossible to make on an enormous scale with huge supply chains. Our kind of ambition for the brewery is to be as big as it can be, but always mindful that the quality is the thing that we'd like. That's why we got into it, to make great beer. 